Praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters. So I just, I had to do this live. This was just pressing on my spirit. I know some of you have seen what I've been posting the last couple of days. Obviously, some people don't agree with it, but I feel this thing very strong in my spirit. So <clears throat> I want to take a moment just to, to talk about this, right? The coronavirus. It's everywhere. Everybody's talking about it. But if, to me, it's really exposing something in the church that just has me bothered, right? And I'm going to just go straight in. Please don't get offended. You, you know how Brother Marcus Rogers is, all right? If you've been following me, you know how I am, right? So I saw somebody post something in the comments. And they said, yeah, you know, it's a fact that the coronavirus is doing this and it's doing that and it's doing this and, and, and we gotta be aware of this. And I, I got all that, okay? I, I, I understand, trust me. I got you guys, I got it. But this is what's irritating me about it, okay? Okay, it's a fact that it's contagious. Okay, it's a fact that it's spreading. Okay, it's a fact that people are dying from it. Okay, it's a fact that the world is scared. Okay, it's a fact. We see people with the mask on. Yes, this is a fact. But let me tell you something, church. It's also a fact that when David went to face Goliath, it was a fact that Goliath was big. It was a fact that if Peter stepped off that boat, he was probably going to drown. It was a fact that there were lions in that den where Daniel was about to get thrown in. It was a fact that if Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego didn't bow down, they was going to get thrown in the fire. It was a fact that Jesus was going to have to go to the cross and he was going to get betrayed if he went into Jerusalem. But the Bible says he set his face as flint. See, this is the problem. If we get squeezed and we claim to be the church, faith should be coming out. If I say that I'm a Christian, if I say that I'm a believer, I'm starting to think that people don't really believe what's in the Bible. I'm starting to think that some of y'all don't really believe that there was a great flood and that Noah's boat went across the waters. I'm starting to feel like some of y'all don't really believe that there was a shepherd boy with just a sling and a stone and he faced this giant. I'm starting to think that some people just look at the Bible who claim to be Christians as inspirational stories and that is what's irritating me about this virus. Please understand something. Faith will often make you look crazy. Faith will often defy common sense. Stop getting mad because somebody's calling you out because you don't trust God the way that you say you do. Okay? The Bible says God is not giving me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. People like to hide behind, oh, I'm using wisdom when the truth is you scared. Don't get mad because other people not scared. I guarantee you the children of Israel were looking at David thinking, who does he think he is when he went to walk to face Goliath? But that's what made David different. That's why David was chosen and set apart. And God is looking for some people. He's watching the way that we respond to the coronavirus. I, I said the other day, I don't want to follow no pastor who's shutting his church down out of fear. And some of y'all got upset. But if I believe that I'm covered by the blood, if I really believe that, then what am I worried about? And if I believe that God is in control, if I, I could get hit by a bullet right now, I could have whatever that God would allow to happen to me. He's in control. If I believe that, why am I going to walk in fear. Why am I going to walk and be afraid? Oh, I'm not going to travel. I'm going to close the church down. Now here, check this out. If the government is saying, hey, go ahead and shut the churches down. That's, that, that, that's a different thing that we have to look at because the Bible says to what? Submit to the governing authorities. But for you to just be shaking in your boots and, oh, well, you know, there, there's the coronavirus and we got to shut the church down because I'm, don't, don't tell me that's wisdom. If you believe that we're covered, then we're covered. Don't allow fear to dictate what you do. And even if you go out and you catch something, God is in control. Y'all acting like, check this out. It may look like I'm surrounded by this coronavirus, right? Y'all know that song? But even though the coronavirus is all around me, I'm still in the hand of God and so is the coronavirus. And the coronavirus in God's eyes is a very small, tiny thing. We look at like, oh, the coronavirus is so big. You know what you sound like? 
the children of Israel, when they went to the promised land and they went to spy the land and they said, oh, they're grasshoppers. They're too, they're too big. We can't beat this. Right. That's why the Bible says Caleb was of a different spirit. Some of you need to start looking at this coronavirus and everything else that's going on in this world. And let's see if you really believe what we say we believe. That's what I feel is getting exposed right now. You don't really believe that Shadrach, uh, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown in the fire and they went in and, and, and you know what? They came out smelling like heaven. They should have been burnt up. They should have been all messed up, jacked up. They should have been consumed, but they came out the flame. I don't, I don't think some of you really believe that. I don't, I don't think that some of you really believe that, that Elijah and them and Elisha was doing the signs and wonders that they were doing. I really don't believe that some of y'all believe that Jesus really lived walked on water. Do you hear me? He literally really walked on water. Do you really believe what's in the word of God? Because if you did, you would walk different. You would respond different. I'm not saying not use wisdom, but it's always wisdom. You use faith because the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. God is looking at some of you and you look like punks. You look like cowards. And you know what? You know, some of you are going to get mad and you're going to get upset. But if you look in the Bible, Sometimes God disses out correction like this. Some of you need a serious wake up call. If the coronavirus already got you pumped, what happens when real persecution comes? See, the real problem is we've been so comfortable in America, we've become complacent. And this is why I've been telling you for the last six years, casual Christians will be casualties because you don't really believe the stuff you preaching. You don't really believe the stuff you singing. You really don't believe the stuff that you teaching. Been going to church your whole life. And the first moment you feel some pressure, oh, you just, just get all oh, crazy. No, I believe that God got me. I believe that whatever happens, God allows it to happen. So wherever I walk, he already knew I was going to walk. He's the alpha and the omega. He's the beginning and, the, and every decision I make, he already knew. The Bible says he's taking me to expected end. So I don't feel that there's a situation that I could put myself in that would cause me to die or that God didn't already know about. Do you believe it or don't you? Coronavirus. I believe that the Lord has allowed this to happen. Just like I told you, he allowed these presidencies to happen. The Bible says God raises up kings and he tears them down. God is not surprised by what is going on in this world. Y'all, this is this. Let me show you something. We go praying to God and we go tattletelling to him like he don't already know. He says, I'm the alpha, I'm the omega, I'm the beginning and the end. I'm the first and I'm, I'm the last, I'm the everlasting. Time and space cannot consume me. It, can, it contains you, but I sit outside of time and space. I can see time and space from literally every angle. So I already know. So when you come to me with your problems and your issues and your fears, when you come to me praying about the coronavirus, I knew about the coronavirus before I ever said, let there be light. I knew about the coronavirus when I sent my only begotten son to the earth. I knew about the coronavirus when I sent the flood in the time of Noah. I knew about the coronavirus when Samson was going around beating up Philistines. I knew about the coronavirus when I chose David to be king. I knew about the coronavirus when Joseph was down in the pit he knew about the coronavirus because he's always been and he's always was because he's a big God he's a great God he's a mighty God that's why the Bible says we can't lean to our own understanding because he got this the Bible says the woman with the issue of blood was healed according to what her faith not because she used wisdom According to her faith, that's why she was healed. Because I'm moving in faith. Because I'm moving in power. Because I'm moving in authority. Because I'm moving in kingdom. Because I'm moving in dominion. Because I'm not afraid of the devil. I'm not afraid of coronavirus. I know that God is the source of my resource. I know that God is my provider. But do we really believe? What we talk about, church. Do we really believe, my brothers and sisters? Oh, we, we, we say that we believe, oh God, he will heal a headache. He will heal. We, we believe, we pray for that, but, but we, we don't even believe, God, that, that we can forgive our enemies. We don't even believe that, that we can forgive our father who did us wrong. We, we don't even believe we're still bitter about our exes. We believe, God, for all of this stuff. But the truth is, when we start getting squeezed, is faith oozing out. And so that's what I see on my timeline is a lot of fear. 
And you can call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure they called Peter crazy when he stepped off the boat. I'm pretty sure they called Joseph crazy when he had the dream. I'm pretty sure they thought Noah was crazy when he was out there and he was waiting for the rain and he was building that ark. I'm pretty sure that they thought he was crazy. I'm pretty sure they thought Jesus was crazy when he was talking about, I'm going to go to Jerusalem. I'm pretty sure they thought Paul was crazy when he said, man, I've been changed. I've been saved. I've, I've had an encounter with God. He's changed my life. So yeah, go ahead and call me crazy because the one thing that I know is faith will make me look crazy. But when I step out, on faith. I know that God will catch me because check this out. Oh, check this out. God holds everything in his hand. So no matter how far I go, no matter where I step, I'm never stepping outside of his hand. There's no place that I can go where I can step off his hand and fall off. So if I step into a place that's infected with the coronavirus, it's still in his hand. If I step into a dark place, if I step into a depressed place, if I step into a place where the enemy is all around me, it's still in his hand. There's no place that I can step that is not in the hand of God, which means everything is in control. Everything, he has it in his control. That's why the victory belongs to him. It doesn't matter who's president. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world. It doesn't matter who threatens me. It doesn't matter who comes against me. It doesn't matter what the world is worried about. It doesn't matter what the world is stressed about because everything that's going on in this world sits inside the hand of God and because I'm in the hand of God. I'm always surrounded by his love. His eyes are always on me. His peace is always with me, but I have to choose to be open up to it. In the name of Jesus, I come against this coronavirus right now. In the name of Jesus, I come against all fear and anxiety. In the name of Jesus, every single person that is on this live, begin to show yourself mighty in their life this week. In the name of Jesus, give us power, give us authority, give us the grace that we need to overcome. In the name of Jesus, allow us not to be afraid. Let us know that our hope is in you. Our protection is in you. Our peace is in you. In the name of Jesus, every broken heart on this life. Every every lot, every person is going through something. Everyone who's lost a loved one. Everyone in a bad relationship. Just getting out of a bad relationship. In the name of Jesus, let healing begin to flow. In the name of Jesus, let them feel your power. Go through this phone to where they are and wrap them in your arms and let them feel strength in Lord God. Wrap them in your arms and let them feel peace, Lord God. Wrap them in your arms and let them feel love. Show yourself mighty to your people. So that they walk in faith and not fear. In the name of Jesus, you be blessed. You be encouraged. The blessings, the favor of God is on your life. The love of God is on your life. No matter what else we face in 2020. Remember, I told you there was a collision coming. No matter what we face, God is in control. Share this video and be blessed in Jesus' name.